One parent describing this as a scary situation while her son said he had difficulty breathing. In the end, dozens of people treated by first responders who are now trying to figure out what went wrong. Swarms of first responders and parents surround the Harper's Mill community pool midday Wednesday following what the fire department says was a hazmat situation involving pool chemicals. It's kind of scary. Libby Reeves was at the pool with her children when it happened and says her son Tyler was swimming in the deep end. The kids were, were coughing and it was kind of like everybody looking at each other. What's that smell kind of thing um, and just everybody assuming there was a chlorine spill or um, you know, some people were a little bit more panicked than others. For Tyler, he says he couldn't breathe that much. If I took in a deep breath, it would hurt my lungs and it would kind of trigger like a tickly, spiky feeling and then I would cough. So it was super hard to breathe. The Reeves spoke to CBS 6 after getting checked out by the fire personnel and were given the okay to go home. Officials say they decontaminated everyone who was in the pool and around 30 people were cleared on scene, while about half that were sent to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Five were transported by Chesterfield Fire and EMS and then a total of 11 uh, went with their family members. As for what caused this, the fire department says they're unsure of how it happened, but say it was from a chemical used in the pool, adding they don't believe it was done maliciously. The hazmat team is working on it to find out what the chemical was, but we do know it was a pool chemical um, that caused the, the issue. People from the company that manages the pool told CBS 6 they used sodium hypochlorite and an acid for pH balance and were also investigating. They add the chemicals are added into the pool by a machine rather than a person, and that's one thing they'll be looking at. While for Reeves, they say nothing like this has happened in the two years they've lived in the community and hope things can get back to normal. You know, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous about the other kids that were in the pool longer and just hoping that everybody's okay. Now, we did reach out to the Harper's Mill community HOA for comment about this, but have not heard back, or rather the uh, community website. Meanwhile, Chesterfield Fire also wanting to put out a warning with everything that went down, saying they get these types of calls during the summer at smaller uh, home pools, and they are encouraging people who own those pools to be careful when mixing their chemicals into the pool so that they don't have more types of these calls.